you're traveling this evening aboard our Boeing 737-800 series aircraft. We're going to ask for your attention while the flight attendants point out the safety features of this aircraft. We're going to ask you to pay attention to my ex-wife up here and her two no new boyfriends there in the center aisle way. Now, folks, in the event that you haven't been in an automobile since 1942, a flight attendant has to show you how to fasten a seatbelt. So you do this, to fasten it, you do that, and that seatbelt needs to be low and tight across your hips, just like the hot pink Speedo I'm going to be wearing when we get to a hotel hot tub tonight in Manchester. <laughs> Now, folks, you don't like the jokes of the service tonight. There's eight ways out of this airplane. You feel free to use them. That's two forward exits, four overwing window exits, and two rear exit doors. Those signs on the ceiling and the disco lights on the floor, they'll lead you to these exits. In that seat back pocket in front of you, it's a safety information card outlines the safety features of this aircraft, as well as our evacuation processes. Please take a moment to look it over. And in the event that Captain Michael decides to turn the Love Airlines, Southwest Airlines, into a cruise this evening, somewhere between here and Manchester, we're going to instruct you how to remove this life vest from beneath the sea. <coughs> Folks, this is a life vest. It is not a toilet seat cover. You place it over <laughs> your head. You bring that black strap around your tiny little waist. You snap it in front and pull to tighten. To inflate the life vest after you exit the aircraft, you pull down on the red tab. And for those of you that have to do absolutely everything the difficult way, well, you blow into that red tube located at the shoulder. The very best of luck to you with that. But then kick paddle, kick paddle over to the shore. This cabin crew will be behind you shortly. Oh, folks, you'll be able to recognize us. We'll be the ones carrying the liquor kit and the world-famous fresh peanuts. Now, that cabin staff, they're passing through the cabin at this time to make sure that your shoes and socks and handbags match. <laughs> Folks, I'm really sorry, but I have to say, what I noticed during this parade of boarding, so many of you need a little fashion consultation. <laughs> but kick it, cram it, and shove it all the way underneath that seat in front of you. Now, folks, it's a non-smoking flight for the next hour and 37 minutes over to Manchester. But for those of you that have to enjoy a cigarette this evening, we have two entertainment lounges for you. One's out there on the left wing, the other one right across the hallway on the right wing. And if you think you're talented enough to light it, oh, you can certainly smoke it. But the rest of us, we're going to enjoy two feature films this evening. Gone with the wind and Bye Bye Birdie. Ladies and gentlemen, the message is very, very clear and very, very simple. Don't be naughty in the potty. Leave that webcam alone in there or you end up on YouTube next week. <laughs> now, folks, it's $2,200 for tampering with the smoke detector in an aircraft lavatory. And, folks, you know if you had $2,200, you'd be on U.S. Airways in first class back over there to Manchester tonight. In the event of a decompression, four saffron yellow buttercup mask designed by Gucci and Martha Stewart. <laughs> well, they're going to drop from that compartment overhead. To start the flow of oxygen, you have to first stop screaming. You let go of the person next to you. You reach up, grab that mask full, extending the plastic tube, and place it over your big nose and mouth, and continue wearing that mask until otherwise notified by one of your four fabulously dressed flight attendants. As the flight attendants that you'll see running about our cabin absolutely naked tonight, Folks, they just simply cannot be trusted. <laughs> now, ladies, for those of you traveling with someone that's going to need your assistance this evening, ladies, yeah, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Yes, ma'am, that very dear husband of yours. Dear, when those masks fall, you may want to sit back. Think about it for a bit. <laughs> diamonds, diamonds. For those of you traveling with your children, why? <laughs> And for those of you that are traveling with two of your children, what in the world were you thinking tonight? But when those masks fall, put the mask on the bright one. That one's going to contribute to your retirement most successfully. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, do us a favor this evening. Thanks for coming out and joining us on the holiday weekend, St. Patrick's Day. Sit back, relax, enjoy our in-flight hospitality, or you can sit up and be tense. That choice is yours. The pleasure to serve you this evening, it is certainly ours. And folks, we have one final message for you. We love you. You love us. We're much faster than a bus. We hope you enjoy our hospitality. Marry one of us and you'd fly free. <laughs> now, folks, you have an hour and 37 minutes to think about that wedding proposal. But you need to know, one of us is a little higher maintenance than the other three. <laughs>